from the Lakeside Newsroom of the Henrico Citizen, your hometown news source since 2001. This is the Henrico News Minute with publisher Tom Lapis. One man's dead following an early morning shooting in the near West End. The Henrico County High School band director is arrested and a Virginia Army post might be renamed after a former Henrico resident. We'll tell you all about it in today's Henrico News Minute. It's Wednesday, May 25th, 2022. It's brought to you today by the law firm of Barnes & Deal. And now for the news. One person is dead in Henrico's near West End this morning after being shot, apparently while driving, just after 3 a.m. It happened in the 7600 block of Beth Road. That's just off Bremner Boulevard. Police responded after... The SUV struck an apartment building in a complex, leaving a hole in the corner of the wall. The SUV also struck two parked vehicles. The male driver was found with obvious signs of trauma and was pronounced dead at the scene. If you know anything, call Metro Richmond Crime Stoppers at 7801000 or visit p3tips.com. Well, a well-known Virginia Army post could soon carry the name of a former Henrico resident. An independent commission yesterday recommended new names for nine posts in the state that had been named for Confederate soldiers. Nottoway County's Fort Pickett would be renamed Fort Barfoot after former Henrico resident and Tech Sergeant Van Barfoot. Barfoot was a Medal of Honor recipient from his World War II service. He died 10 years ago at the age of 92. Several years before his death, he had a public battle with the Sussex Square Homeowners Association in the county, which had asked him to take down his flagpole from which he flew an American flag. Barfoot eventually won that fight and was allowed to fly his flag from a freestanding pole in his yard. In a message last night to Henrico County Schools families, Superintendent Amy Cashwell said she was grief-stricken following the, quote, senseless act of violence at a Texas elementary school, end quote, yesterday. Some 21 people were killed in a shooting there. Cashwell wrote that while the school division here does not publicly disclose all components of its safety plans, There are, quote, robust measures and procedures, end quote, in place at every school and office. She said parents and students may also see additional officers on and near school campuses for the remainder of the year. A Henrico County High School band director is under arrest, accused of taking indecent liberties with a minor in another locality. 41-year-old Ryan Adair was the band director at Glen Allen High School and the former band director at Chancellor High School in the Spotsylvania area. Police there say the incident occurred allegedly while he was at Chancellor High School. Adair is currently on unpaid administrative leave in Henrico. The incidents allegedly occurred between March 1st and 30th of 2020 at two different locations when he was employed by Spotsylvania County Public Schools. A new warning system designed to alert residents of the metro region to an increase in opioid overdoses issued its first alert on Sunday night. The notice came from the Metro Richmond Spike Alert System. That's a partnership between the Richmond and Henrico Health Districts, the Richmond Ambulance Authority, and the Chesterfield Health District. It was triggered by higher than normal overdoses in Henrico, according to Henrico Fire Captain Michael Roth. The measures of spike, according to its own metrics, in Henrico... The county calculates the mean number of overdoses each day during a quarter and then uses three standard deviations from that mean number to signify a spike. Currently, five or more non-fatal overdoses in one day in the county will trigger the system, and that's what happened this weekend. Officials formed the alert system after an increase in overdoses. It's designed to warn only of opioid-related overdoses, which tend to account for the lion's share of overdoses in most localities, and about 75% of all overdoses in Henrico. Now, there are several ways locally to get free naloxone. That's a drug that can help in the immediate aftermath of an overdose if given properly. 
To learn more, you can call Henrico Mental Health and Developmental Services at 727-8515 or the RHHD at 592-8069. Look for our complete article about this shortly on HenricoCitizen.com. And a story that you will see only on HenricoCitizen.com, Henrico County Public Schools will be partnering with some public safety and health agencies in the county beginning this fall for a new program called Handle with Care. The program is designed to alert school officials when students may have been involved in a traumatizing event the night prior to school. If a law enforcement officer or first responder encounters a child during a call, that child's information will be given to school before classes begin the following school day. No details of the event will be shared, only a note with the name of a student and the words Handle with Care. The Virginia Department of Criminal Justice Services will provide in-person training to all HCPS school-based mental health providers and another training for school administration teams. Faculty members and other staffers will receive a separate online training in late summer or early fall. In Virginia, so far there are 12 localities currently using the program and eight others are scheduled for trainings this summer. And RICO will become the first locality in the greater Richmond area to implement the program. You can read much more about this program on HenricoCitizen.com right now. Our Anna Bryson has complete coverage. Today's Henrico News Minute has been brought to you by Barnes & Deal. Barnes & Deal has emerged as a highly respected family law firm over the past three decades with the resources, skills, and experience necessary to handle high-asset divorces and other complex family law matters across Virginia. To learn more, visit BarnesFamilyLaw.com, that's B-A-R-N-E-S, or call 796-1000.